Hello, everybody. <laughs> What's going on? What is going on? It's that time of the week where you get your channels reviewed for free. My favorite price. My favorite price. I have you know today's uh, live stream is sponsored by Real Estate Video Geeks, which happens to be Joe and I who run a course for real estate agents to help improve and get their YouTube channels off to a deal making machine <laughs> because a lot of you have been putting in a lot of effort, a lot of effort, but not getting the results that you need to get for your YouTube channels for the amount of input you're putting in. So Joe and I on our course teaches you that. So, Hey Joe, how, what do you know? Hey, what's going on, Christina? I'm excited <laughs> to be here again to do some more channel reviews and to talk to you more about what people can expect when they see the reviews. And we also deep dive into a lot more of that in our course. So if you are interested in that, today is the very last day to sign up for this round. Mm -hmm. After that, you'll have to wait. But you can still sign up. You'll just be on a waiting list and we'll let you know when you can get in. But we... Well, you just sign up for the next this, the next round. So yeah. I thought that, yeah, that's where we're going to set it up just so you can go ahead and... Um... Because what happens is that you guys go on the waiting list. And then when we were like, oh, yeah, the next round started, you guys like kind of dip out. So we're not going to allow for that anymore. <laughs> yeah, we're going to we're going to hold you to it because yeah. everyone's all excited. And by the way, our group is growing. It's incredible. We have some amazing people that are a part of the group that it's just I'm super excited about it. So it really gets it really gets me excited to talk. Uh, with everyone in the group and to see their minds like melt when we talk to them and say, okay, like, and they're like, we've been doing this wrong the whole time. I've, I've seen a few tears. <laughs> There's a few people that have cried. They're like, I, this is so hard. I'm like, no, it's not. No, it's not. I think the best compliment that we've gotten since the course opened was that uh, one of our students that what was in round one signed up. Another one on round two said, I saw his videos and they improved a thousand percent. A thousand percent. <laughs> so he said a thousand percent. So I was like, I need to do this course. I'm like, that was the best compliment ever. Yeah. yeah. Like they, that he noticed that someone else in his market, his videos had improved so much that he was like, I need to do this. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that is, that is, that's what it's all about. We, and, and the thing that's cool is like their friends they are in the market. Like there's mm -hmm. no competition. And that's something that we really touch on too, is as we give you this information, like learn that, that, your agents aren't competition, they're collaborators. And we go right. into that in our course and some other stuff, but they're not here to listen to us pitch our course. They're here to hear channel reviews. Well, let me just show this really quick though. This is okay, it. I like it. <laughs> this is us. This is our course. This is what you get. You know, you get the whole nine yards. Look, there she is. Christina Smallhorn, Joe Eaves and Daryl Eaves. You guys don't know Daryl Eves is who helped me with my channel and, and told Joe and I to go ahead and start this course because he felt like real estate agents were missing the mark. So he's like, you know what? They need to go through this first. So yep. that's 100%. we're filling in a need. We're filling in a need. We already got a, a comment, I believe. Woohoo! <laughs> Erica's excited. Awesome. Erica's excited. I don't know which one's yours, Erica. If you're here, you know, tell me which one's yours, and maybe we'll do yours next. Whoever's first it goes first. But if since you're here, we'll do yours next. I think it's the third to last one, Erica Larkin, real estate. Um, right? yeah, but she, right? her, her, she's Erica Parker. Well, did she change her name? Maybe she got married. Who knows? I don't know, but it's Erica Greg Parker. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's Eric Larkin. That was a guy. Oh, well, you know, when it's so small, I'm getting old, man. I might need glasses or something here. Yeah. I didn't know if you, she was in round one. I didn't know if, if you wanted to get a channel review. Uh, don't, don't, don't send mine. <laughs> you send mine. Oh, oh, she just didn't send it in. Well, that's fine. We'll hold that's off. Fine. We'll hold off. Okay. <laughs> Maybe next time, Erica. All right. So we're going to go to this one. All right. So this is the first one. Um, can you see it okay? Yep, I can see it. All right. So we got living in HSU. Subscribe for weekly videos, real estate tech, and living in the Bay Area. All right, friend. What do, what, what do you want to okay, say? Okay, so I mean, with, like, there's so much stuff going on at the, at the top there. I think that, mm -hmm. like, really, it, okay, weekly videos, like subscribe, like they're not offer. where's the value proposition? So I think that there needs to be something where you're 
right at, right off the bat, they know what you're going to offer them, not mm-hmm. what you, not you pitching yourself like every other agent does, but what can you do that's different? What are you going to help them? What, what value are you going to add? And I don't, I don't see that right off the bat. Like showing you the inside real estate secrets of the Bay area. Of the Bay area. Right. Yeah. That would be a value proposition to them right there. The, what you're saying is this is who I am. Subscribe to me. So you're asking them to do something instead of telling them what you can provide for them. Um, yep. that's, that's a, you should always have your value proposition in there. Is there anything else you want to say about this, Joe? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I would get rid of the, uh, Instagram link on the side, Correct. I, anything, anything that's going to take them away from YouTube. I would I'd nix and you can always have the website and everything in the description. Like, so the idea obviously is you want to keep them there as long as possible. And so giving them these, these opportunities to leave is, is a chance for them to, to leave without understanding or knowing what you have to offer. So don't, don't do that. I, I, at least I recommend that. I agree. Yeah. If it was me and and it was my little thing, the only thing I have that says website here. I would have uh, it go to a landing page where they have to fill out uh, a form. Like book a call or something book like a get call. a consultation. Yeah. Yeah. You know, book a Zoom with me. Calendly. I can never say that right. I think I said it right this time. Yeah. <laughs> Calendly. The, 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 it's something like that. So that way, if they are going to leave, you're, they are doing something for you. Exactly. Um, and, yep. then, and then this other thing about the phone number. I mean, I understand why he had to put his number, like his uh, yeah, license, license number, number there. Yeah. yeah, that's probably a, a broker thing. But I, to me, I would I don't even like the phone number on there because that invites more spam callers. Yeah. Unless it's a Google number. I mean, I just I I did it and it was the dumbest thing I ever did. <laughs> you know, yep. like get all, I, the, just, get all the robo calls and all the spam well, and, calls. And pervs too, just yeah. weirdos that were calling you. Now I have to by law have it in my description, but the fact that 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 extra step that they have to take it reduced it. I mean, I barely get calls like that anymore. Well, and now you're getting people that actually want to talk to you about Correct. real estate rather than whatever else. Correct. I, I, th- I mean, I like the I like the color, like the the black. Yeah. I like all of that. I think that mm-hmm. you know the exp, all that stuff can be on there. Totally fine. Looks great. I'd actually move that to the other side and mm-hmm. remove like the phone number and call and text and just have the logo and then and then the license number to clean up the other side. Right. And I'm sure like in like for my brokerage, you, it just has to be big enough for the naked eye to see. Yep. You don't have Legible. to like make it that huge. It doesn't have That's, to be massive. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have to be that big. So just kind of put it, kind of tuck it in the corner of the bottom, you know, yeah. like just, it's so not. Just, really that yeah. Part. Just that. I would just clean it up. It's, it's pretty mm-hmm. cluttered. Yeah. Just a, a lot going on. That's all. Nothing, not, not anything major, but I do love the fact that, the colors in the banner match the colors yep. in his jacket. That's yep. pretty swift. Yep. <laughs> that was slick. And, and like he that. doesn't have like half of his shoulder cut off no. where, where, you know, it's like, it's like, like a, a picture box. with a phone and then it's like, yes. And then it's missing. He, like that's, <laughs> it's, it's done. That looks great. I hate when people do that. I see that on thumbnails and I, I mean, like, I don't know why, but that's one of those things that burns my soul <laughs> like they, when their arms are cut off, like right here, they're like, well, I took it with my phone. I'm like, then make it so big that you can't see the shoulders are cut off. <laughs> yeah. like, anyway, anyways, yep. that's just me whining. All right. So he has over 711 videos with 3,400 subscriber. Um, let's look at his about section really quick. Cause uh, this channel is about living in the Bay area, moving to the Bay area and relocating to the Bay. Area. <laughs> wow. There's a lot of Bay areas. I, I think, think you were trying to ask for the keyword stuff. Word stuff. Yeah, yeah. That is not, don't do that. Like YouTube's not stupid. They know what you're doing. They would be much better off if you just said, um, I'm a real estate, uh, real estate agent in the Bay area that loves to provide information on covering what it takes to buy and sell a home, blah, blah, blah. That's, I, that would be much more effective than just trying to keyword stuff the heck out of a description. 100%. I concur. I concur. That's, <laughs> that's our little catchphrase right there. I need, I need to put that on a shirt. I concur. <laughs> I concur. I'm a video geek. Yes. <laughs> If you want to know everything about eating, sleeping, working, and playing a good, uh, good 
that and living in the Bay Area, then subscribe to tap the bell. See, this is not providing no. them any information. Yeah. Like not the I'm, right, not the right place. Nope. We get calls and emails every day from people like you, helping them make them. <sighs> I just, I would rethink this as what is the value to the person that is reading this? Cause this is just a like, pick me, pick me. That's yeah. It's, it's, it started off like I'm, I'm here to help you to relocate, to do all of that. And then it shifted to I, I, I me, 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 instead of like, again, that value proposition, like, what are you offering? What can you do? And when someone reads that, that they feel like, oh, this person is going to be able to help me. I do love this. So this, this was the perfect place to put this information. Yep. You can call or text here. Here's his email. There's his license number. And you can book a, uh, a Zoom, Zoom link late. with Calendly. Yeah, but the problem is, is not it's not highlighted in blue. So yeah. I th I think you need to verify your um your channel your channel, and that's why it's not highlighted blue. And it could have been because if you notice, he joined back in like 2018 or 2019, so uh, it, he may not have ever verified it. Yeah, yeah. You just you need to go back and verify, and then um, yeah. The, so those same links that were in the banner, just make it just make it for your website. There's no reason to. Unless you have a huge following on Instagram and you're very active in there, I wouldn't have it on there. All right, let's go back to uh, the front here. Are you curious what life was like in oh, this is what we wanted to talk about. Yep. Okay. So I know, Joe and I were just talking about this. I know that you've been told <laughs> that you had to have an introduction video to, you know, introduce yourself on your channel and what you provide for your channel. And if you were brand spanking new, I would say, yeah, do this. But if you've been doing this for a hot minute and you have one video, that's a high performing, high converting video, that should be your main trailer video, because that's the one that the most people have been interested in and have gotten your phone to ring in the most. The trailer video at that point is pointless. You have a you ha at that point you have a a content library that shows exactly who you are so you don't have to sell that anymore. It or it there's so much there, so much information there you don't need a trailer video. You just need your highest performing, highest converting video in that trailer video. What do you say, friend? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm interested on that one. Can you click on it? So is like on the actual link and open it up? This one? Well, where it says living in, will it? can you open it up so you can see it in? Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's, I got commercials going. Just FYI. Why, why, what do you want to see? I'm, in, I'm interested to see if it's comments. Um, he's got 30,000 views God. of it. I'm wondering if it's... camera quality on that though. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, it's crystal clear. Dang. That's so, gotta be okay. So my so my question is, it's got thirty thousand views. It's got I I like he and maybe this was one of his top performing ones, so he put it there. Yeah. But, but wow. <laughs> There's only twenty eight comments. That that's yeah. So I'm wondering if it was it a was it promoted? Like is it like a landing page for an email campaign or something like that? That was the that was why I wanted to see like the comments and the likes. If it was one of those that was uh, being promoted rather than just organic reach. Well, it's, a, it's got 579 likes, but it doesn't have hardly any. Comments. Usually you have like a good combination of likes and comments. Yeah. I'm curious on why people weren't really commenting. If it's gotten that many views. Cause like, I, I mean, I, my, my video I just put out uh, yesterday, 20,000 views. I have like 157 comments. Yeah. Hmm. This is puzzling. Maybe is it attached to a blog? Maybe if that's what I'm wondering if it, there's some kind of outside element that it's being emailed to or that they have access to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the quality is um, great. Oh, golly. It's amazing. Look, it's so crystal clear. Super impressive. All right. Let's move on to round two. 
home in Dallas, Texas. Home, let, let me see if we have any comments coming in. Oh, Rebecca here is here. Hey, Rebecca. <laughs> hey, Glad you could join us. Yeah, she said if we're bored, we can if we get we get done early, we could do hers again. Awesome. <laughs> if you, you could only see analytics, I know, right? I know that'd be amazing. All right. So here we are. Uh, living in Sunnydale, Cal. Oh, that's not the same one. This is what we need to start. Share, share this tab. Okay, here we go. All right. We have home in Dallas, Texas. Um, I'm sure that's her team there. Join us on Facebook, the website, and then she has the link to her YouTube channel. Unnecessary. Yep. Take that YouTube link out because all they're going to do is they're going to click on the link and what's going to happen. It's going to take them right back to this YouTube channel where they clicked on the link. So that's, you should take that off. I'm assuming that you have a huge following on Facebook. If you do not, and you don't have a ton of interaction, I take it off. And then if this website is here, just make sure it lands on a landing page where you can track them as a buyer or a seller in some way, shape or form. I don't know if you have a tracking pixel or whatever. What do you say, friend? Yeah, I I mean, again, it's kind of like the other one where it's all about them instead of like the value proposition. Like it would be mm -hmm. cool to see like if they want to focus on Dallas to have a skyline of Dallas in there. Correct. Or, you know, and they said no one knows Dallas better. I think it's fine. You could have that in there. Mm -hmm. um, but the team that that. It, it looks like it's been just pasted on there and it, right. it's distracting. Yeah. So I would like separate the two couples, you know, I would have the, um, the, the other couple on one side and the other couple, you know, like, yeah. On and then have maybe, and then maybe have like the, the skyline, skyline there. Mm -hmm. And then, and then in the middle says no one uh, knows Dallas better. And then, um, yeah, I would leave, I would leave it like that. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, I don't know what the computer what like what the computer is there for. Like are they well, if you look really, really close in really tiny, 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 tiny font, it says home in Dallas, Texas dot com. Take that off there. Yeah. No one's gonna be able to read that. Especially on a phone. Like most people I can't even see it on my laptop. I'm I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what is that? If you look really close in a tiny, 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 tiny print, it's there. <laughs> all right look 254 videos 3280 subscribers um for the for the last uh 28 days they've had over 20,000 views yeah um all right let's look at their about section about here we go this is good Welcome to Dal uh, Welcome to Dallas. This channel is about living in Dallas, buying a home, and moving to the Dallas, affording Dallas. There's all right. You, you've stuffed the too much word stuff in here. You're you're stuff a lot of I guess. They're trying to get the Google juice, though. The, that's not how <laughs> Google works. That's not how. The thing is, is that YouTube and Google have flat out said, "You do stuff like this, we know you do it." it's not going to help you. Matter of fact, it's most likely going to hurt you. They'll actually suppress content that has too much keyword stuffing in it. And that is that first sentence is stuffed to death. I don't know where the strategy came from. I actually do know, but it's not right. And you shouldn't be doing it. It could actually hurt you by stuffing your channel. In so in the worst case scenario, they have right to actually remove your channel for doing something like that. Yeah, it, it, like realistically, you should have a like the couple, the first two sentences of that description should just be like almost a hook where you show them like why they should, why they should be on your channel, what you're about and how you can help them. And, and I know all the gurus and everyone's going to say, well, it's keywords and it's this and it's that like, no, like YouTube is all about the viewer and they people. want, they want people to it, like someone that reads that's going to be like, that doesn't make any sense. So like you have to think about if you're going to write something, write it as if you were going to be talking to a client. 
and like why it's so important for them to understand what, what you're offering them. So instead of saying you'll find plenty of vlog tours on my channel, just put it, you'll find plenty of vlog tours on this channel because it's for them, not about you. Yep. Tips on buying and understanding. So that first, that second paragraph, take that first sentence off, move that up. And that is. That's your better. Favorite. Yeah. You'll find plenty of uh, uh, vlog tours of the Dallas, Texas real estate market on this channel, tips of buying and understanding the Dallas in honest down to earth market updates. I mean, that is so, that is so much clearer than what you said in that first sentence. Yeah. And most people, when they look at that, they're going to read it and go, oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. And then if they're in the market and they're interested about that, then they're going to, then they're going to explore more because it's simple. Like people want things that are simple. If they have to think really hard or they have to really like, they're going to, they're going to leave. Their attention span is very, very short. And they'll be like, ah, I, I, I'm going to go to something else. that's easier to understand. Instead of saying, I have the best time making videos and I hope you're, and I hope you enjoy watching them as much as I have making them. I would just change that to say, I know you'll have the best time watching these videos as much as I enjoy making them for you. So it's yeah. the value proposition to them. Yep. You flipped it around from I mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. Exactly. Because it is about them. We need them to do stuff. So be more focused towards the avatar and less on yourself. Yep. Do you concur? I concur. I just out of curiosity, I want to see what their thumbnails look like. Not bad. Actually, yeah. they're, they're really clear. Yeah. Easy to read on the eyes. Little busy, but not, not terrible. Yeah, these are these are good. Yeah, you yeah. know what's interesting too is that they're not regurgitating the title in the thumbnail. They're no. actually they're actually using so that's great. Yep. Yep. I don't hate them. I would just be careful when you're doing things like this where it, like the at the bottom it says Dallas housing market. It's so small no one's going to be able to see it. And yep. then when you um do like a sign that says opportunity ahead. That is so tiny. No one's going to be able to read it. If you really want them to see the sign, you're going to have to blow that up. Almost taking up one third of the thumbnail. At least as big as she is. Right. As big as your head. Yep. I, I concur friend. <laughs> yeah. And even that video did pretty decently. Um, but I would, I would just uh, update this, uh, update this a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. I love this one. Yeah, those are good. Yeah, congrats. Most people, I, I always have a field day. I love shredding thumbnails. <laughs> All right, share this tab. Okay. Oh, let's take Rebecca's comment in there. Oh, we had another comment come in. Erica says, uh, my shorts are showing at the top of my channel. Is there a way to change where they show up? Yes. So if you go, I'll show you on this right here. So if you go up to the top, you'll see on your own channel, there's going to be like edit, edit your channel. And then you can show exactly which videos will show up on the top. So you can put your shorts on the bottom and then put your newly released videos at the top. You can even add playlists. And that's what I do on my front page of my YouTube channel. Yep. And I mean, that's when you're building out, if you're changing any of that, the branding or any of that, it's, it's just under that layout tab. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go right here. All right. New videos every week. Subscribe to learn about living in the East Bay area. I will say this, no junk just right here. Boom. Yep. I like that. <laughs> yep. But the value proposition isn't there. Yep. He's just missing it. Yep. And I know that I've heard this too, that people say, oh, right on there, you know, that you're going to put out videos every single week. So they know that you're, you know, an active real estate agent. I don't know how many people's channels I've landed on to say, we're putting out two videos a week and they hadn't put out a video in a month. Yeah. Don't put that on there because you never know what life is going to throw at you. Right. 
So just put what they're going to get from your content. Um, don't put, it's unnecessary. It's, it's unnecessary. Even if you're brand new, you don't need to put it out there like, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a video out every week. You know? Yeah. It's uh, again, it's kind of what you're saying is, is you're asking, you're telling them something and then you're also asking them to do something before you've given them any value. So right. the, the, the value needs to be rather than subscribe, you know, cause that's, that's like, again, salesy. And it's one of those things that like, Maybe, you know, just get rid of that all together and learn about living in the, B, you know, in the, in the uh, East Bay area or little known facts about the East, East Bay area. Let me show you. Like there's things that you can do to, you know, and depending on like their market, like what they're, who they're trying to target, you know, that would affect like what, what you're going to put up above in your channel, your channel art there. They got um, almost 3,000 subscribers, I mean, 3,000 views in the last uh, 30 days. They had a big tick right here on June 29th and the 30th. Let's so I want to know, what, yeah, let's see what it is. Was, well, was it this video then? Can you drop the, Eric, the comment so I can see it's, it's covering it up a little bit? This one? The, no, I, I meant like the Erica Gray Parker, the comment. On uh, the oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 Like <laughs> sorry. 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 Um, so it can't be this one. Maybe it was a short. Yeah. Um, He's got one that has 668 mm. views. Yep. Well, how do you feel about shorts? I, okay, so I think I think that shorts have a place, but I, like I don't think that like right now, if I don't think that they help you as far as doing like building an audience and building building people that want to work with you, it's just not enough. There's not enough attention span to really get into like if someone because I mean what a user is like the reason they're on there is they're to learn about something. So if you're going to do a short, I would do a short that is going to point to a long form video if you were going to do one. But personally, like, unless it's like, a, unless you're on a different platform like TikTok, right? Or something where like that, they're just there to do that. I think people here, I, I just don't, I don't think that the algorithm has it nailed down enough to where you can really, you can really build like, referrals and leads off of that because i just don't think you can give enough value in 60 seconds i think that shorts have a place the consumer of shorts is usually a lot younger right and you have to meet your avatar where they're at so if the, he has a younger audience and then he's putting out content that would be more more suited to an older audience shorts aren't going to work right, right? Right. So, um, just if that, if you're, if you're wanting to do that, make sure that you understand who you're making videos for. Shorts are a great dopamine hit. Don't get me wrong. Cause all of a sudden you had nowhere you put out this short, it got 12 views. And then at like all of a sudden, boosh, uh, it got 600 views in a day, you know, and you're like, wow, this is great. But how many people actually called you because of that, that short, yeah, you know? And I and I think it, that's kind of my, I think that's kind of where I'm going with it is, is right. like I doom scroll on TikTok all the time. All the time. Right. I'm, and it's like, oh my gosh. But when I actually want to learn something, I'm not on TikTok. I go to, I go to YouTube. And so like, mm -hmm. that's where I, that's where I, I feel like when people are actually trying to understand how to do something and then following, you know, the system where you have a good thumbnail to catch their attention and a good title like then you can draw them in and then and then give them that good information and you know don't clickbait or whatever but i think that's especially in real estate that's what people are there for cuz you like people will watch a 10 minute video on real estate and ask questions like tell me more about this because they're they're interested they want more information about that because maybe they're thinking about buying maybe they're buying maybe they're in the process I just like, like I, I agree with you. I think that shorts are, they definitely have a place mm -hmm. and maybe, and maybe they'll figure out how to incorporate that better. But I think there's still just a disconnect between like 
I, I you know maybe maybe like you're saying the younger de- generation can like get it off of a, a quick little video but most people when they're trying to understand a complex thing like you know buying a house for the first time i just i just think that they're going to want someone to explain it in a way that's that keeps them uh entertained and keeps them engaged and gives them real value rather than just like that dopamine hit of like a mega mansion that looks amazing but you're never going to message the dude and be like hey i'm interested maybe not never (laughs) but it'd be rare right um description is good enough uh i would just add your um your other contact information right below it yep but everything else is good and and your thumbnails were good are good too i just want to say that some of your older ones have too many words like this cheapest places to buy in the Bay Area, that's too many words. This one's kind of hard to read with the white, black text and the white background. But it seems like you've gotten better because, like, even here, I was like, Yeah, Pfft. you can see the progression of, of because he's done so many uh, thumbnails, yeah. you can actually see them getting uh, better. Better. Yep. Yep. All right. Moving on, moving on, because we, we've only done three and we got, Oh, geez. <laughs> I know. All right. We're, we're going to, we got to pick up the pace and we got, because we got 30 minutes. All right. Steve Vidal. All right. Southern California living. Okay. Um, let's, do- uh, you need to share it. I'm not seeing it. Oh, I, I thought I pushed the button. Apparently I didn't. Mm. Steve, here we are. Um, new videos every week. What do you want to say? Yeah. It's the the same thing we've said before. Like yeah, value proposition. Yep. Don't, don't put subscribe here. They already know to subscribe and like, there's no reason to like the YouTube culture has grown enough that everybody knows that if you like something, you end up subscribing to it. Yep. It made sense back in 2000, 2002, 2003, when, YouTube was still new to a lot of people, but today everybody knows what it is, even like four-year-olds. So there's yep. no reason to say subscribe. What you really want them to do, because I mean, in the grand scheme of things, who gives a crap if they subscribe? You really want them to call you. Yep. So put that there, you know, book a call with me and then add your link to, your to, landing page. Your, to a landing page or yep. a Calendly and all that kind of stuff. Okay. All I right. do like I do like the color scheme though. I like the yeah. yellow. I like Oh, the I, simpli- the yep. simplicity of the background is perfect. It looks very very clean. Yeah, very clean. Um I would take if like I'm just briefly looking at your thumbnails and right here, I would just take your image right off of it. Yep. If you look right. at any of and the look, home tour yep. stuff, they don't have the realtor's face on there. They have the, pro- he's got it right, like partially kind right. Of. Kind of, because yeah. he's covering up the house with the numbers. He wants well, the house up that's front. That's what I'm saying, like partially the right, but he could put part of those numbers behind the, the ridge line right. of the house or whatever. But but definitely, uh, to, you know, if, if, if he's doing home tours, like that needs, he just needs to be gone. Yep. Yep. I concur. All right. Oh, let's look at the, his about section and then we'll move on to the next one. Perfect. His about section has nothing. Well, you probably want to add some stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So in your about section here, this is what you're going to do. And you're going to let the, the person know what they're, what they're going to get from your channel. What is it they're going to get from your videos itself? After you give that little brief description, one or two, possibly three paragraphs, don't write a whole freaking 280,000 word blog post. I'm just going to read that. Just short description of what they're going to get from that channel. And then after that, write your, uh, like your, your name, your phone number and your contact, all your contact information. That's what I would put. Yep. Keep it clean. Keep it moving. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's share this tab. All right, Manuel Vargas, your pool home realtor. Okay, I, I, it's so like the colors are so. I, it's hard for me to see the black under there. Obviously, the new video every week, but Cape Coral, Florida, Fort Myers, like it's too busy. There's too and, many... and he's talking about himself. Yeah. Again, yeah. same thing. No value proposition. 
Yeah. So I would like, if it was me, I'd be like, um, instead of talking about you, just say, uh, sharing, um, sh sharing, uh, pool home, gorgeous luxuries. pool homes in, in Fort Myers or, Cape yeah. Coral. Yeah. Or in Cape Coral. Yeah. You know, most beautiful pool homes in Cape Coral, you know? Yep. And then yep. same thing, move all the social media stuff off of Correct. there. Yeah, he even has like a list of pool homes and stuff. So um, I hope that with that list of pool homes, it would take you to a, a landing page where they have to fill out a form. That's all I would I would say. I would get rid of the Instagram, Twitter, and face, uh, Facebook. Yep. I don't know what this one is. It says to Google. I don't know what that is. Mm. It just takes us to his Google page. Okay. Don't take that off of there. Um, yeah, it just takes it to his Google page. Yeah, no. Do you see that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, all right. He's gotten over 13,000 views in the last 28 days. Um, he had a little peak right here in July 4th. So I'm assuming that's the day he released a video. Let's take a look. Yep. These look like listing videos. Yep. The same advice I would give to you as we did the other person. I would put the price of the house behind the skyline of the roof line of the house and leave it like that. I would take that five bedroom thing off. Yeah. Take the cape, the little blue thing down at the bottom completely off. Yep. Just keep it clean. Keep it clean because people, they don't care about that. They just want to see the house. Yeah. Yep. And even with this pool too, same thing, you know? Yep. 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 But they're not bad. Like, the, like I love this one. The, um, the uh, thumbnail on this one. Yep. Uh, I, I like that. I just think that uh, the title was kind of. Yeah, because, well, again, you're using 2023. We're he, Deep did it four, into he did it. Yeah, he did it four weeks ago. Like everybody mm -hmm. knows we're in 2023. Yep. By the time it's mid-February, stop using the date. <laughs> People yeah. know it, what it is now. Yep. So anyway, that's good. Well, let's look at his about section really quick. Um, uh, Matthew Vargas, your pool home realtor, your trusted licensed realtor associated with serving the Fort Myers area. Manny is an expert. So now you're talking about yourself in third person. Yep. Yeah. So again, like I, I, I would expand if you're going to focus on, you know, your pool home realtor, I would focus on talking about the properties that, you know, that have those pools or whatever you know whatever you're focusing on but like the advantages of that or something that offers some value rather than just saying look at me look at me i'm you know i i i'm unique because i sell houses that have pools right right like you you would want to get into like all the details of like what people need to know the pitfalls of buying a house with a pool, the pitfalls of having a house that had an old pool and trying to re you know, refinish, do that. Like I had somebody had a pool that was filled in. They filled it in with dirt. Yeah. And they, they decided they were going to unfill it. <laughs> yeah. And that was a real thing. They were able to do it. It cost them a lot more than they were thinking it was going to. Yeah, so that was like, that's like those kinds of stories. People want to hear them, you know, yeah. that's, those, that's interesting content. So just elevate that a little bit. I'd also uh, recommend that you put in your contact information. Is so that all of, is that all of it's on the description? Is that right there? This, this section right here. Yep. Okay. And then you have this uh, reproduction, re-upload, rebroadcast, and distribution of my copyrighted videos are prohibited. What you need to do is take this off of there, and that's a check mark on your upload. You don't yep. need to have this here. It's a check mark on your upload on YouTube. And they already have all of that built into yep. it. And, and, a, and a little, a little something that people don't know is that in your analytics, you can click on uh, the tab that says copyright. This shows you all the videos that are out there that people have used segments of your video in their video. 
sometimes, and I've had this happen where they have completely ripped off your video. So you, this, this little sentence right here is unnecessary is all I'm getting at. Yep. Okay. Who do we got next? Do you have a living in, um, in, yeah, living so. in Austin? Uh, Augustine. Augustine. He yep. cut off. He was wrapping around. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Let's check it out. All right. Hold on. I, I didn't click on it because I'm not smart. Can you see this okay? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Okay. All right. Living in St. Augustine. What, what do you want to say? <laughs> I, the same thing we've said with everything is, I mean, they're area specific, but they're not really offering any kind of value proposition. I do like that they're not cut off and that they're not like half the body or whatever. But again, I, I would be, you know, like the advantages of living in St. Augustine or what people don't tell you about or some, some kind of it, like, I don't know if they have a specific like niche that they're working with or whatever, but like, that's what I would, I would focus on again, the new video every week and the subscribe, the Google, I'd get rid of all of that. But do they have like a specific, I mean, is it kind of spaghetti against the wall? Is it, or is there like a specific like they've gotten uh 14,400 views in the last 30 days. Um, they did this one video 11 months ago. I want to see if it's their top performing in the last year. So let's do popular. So no. if it was me, if it was me, I, if I would use this video as your trailer video. Yep. 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 Just move it over. So definitely. And the thumbnail is not the, the dumb, the thumbnail is not bad. Yeah. I mean, I, the do it part is kind of hard. Don't like don't. And then do it. The do it is kind of hard to read. Yeah. I would, I would like, do it in a different a color. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to make that stand out a little bit, just maybe make those words a little bit bigger, but other than that, it's not, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. No. I noticed that like you, the male is always on the um, videos. I'm assuming that, she, okay, she's in the videos. I'm assuming then. Cause I'm just seeing him on every yeah, single on thumbnail. On all the thumbnails. And then she's actually in, in the videos. I'm assuming it just. Yeah. Yeah. They're like a team. Yeah. They're a team. Okay. Maybe they're a couple. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, let's look at their about section. Let's go. Let's do this. They started in 2010. They have 156,000 subscribe uh, video views. Um, look at this. It's, they got this right. Text right here. Yeah. Got that right. Look right there. Boom. Website. They also have like a good question in the beginning, like wondering what it's like to live in mm -hmm. St. Augustine, Florida. And then they're like, well, this channel is what you need. Mm, I, I would I would expand on why. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We uh, we, they they say we absolutely love this town, and our number one goal is to showcase every inch of St. Augustine through our videos, so you have a complete understanding of the best area of your uh, ba best area that fits your lifestyle. By far, today this is the best yep. description. By far, the best description that we've seen so far. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yeah, they did yeah. that. They did that right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just get rid of the subscribe thing. Get rid of that. Yep. The and schedule then, and appointment's great though. Yep. Schedule an appointment and visit website. Good job. Good job. I'm, I'm, I'm a happy camper. All right. Here we go. We're going to go to the next one. Eric. Eric Larkin. Eric. Hello, Eric. All right. Living, working, playing, real estate. Shh. Cocoa Beach in the Space Coast. Yeah. So he's obviously the spacing is not right on the actual Correct. channel art. It needs to be across the whole all thing. the way across. Mm -hmm. The drop shadow that's white, like the outline, the stroke. It looks like it a looks, mistake. It looks weird. 
Well, it's because only one one side. I think what they did was they did a drop shadow and, and they made then, it white. And they made it white. Flip, flipped it this way and made it white. Yeah. 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 That doesn't look right. Yeah. And you know, I'm just gonna say that white outline was like a huge thing. Like everybody was doing that in 2017, 2018. By 2019, it became uh yeah. And now nobody, like none of the top channels do it. None. Unless you're yeah. like a little kid's channel. And I don't think we're any of us are little kids anymore. No, no, we're not. <laughs> I'm not. So <laughs> yeah, just don't do those anymore. I mean, that, yeah, that, I mean, was that could be, I mean, he could easily put a drop shadow on there and just push that out a little bit and it'd be a great photo. Yeah. Just like expand this, uh, this, mm -hmm. I love that photo. I think yeah. that's great. But again, value proposition, expand the photo out, get rid of the white outline. Yep. And then get rid of all the social media. Yep. Again. So there, there's no reason to put the subscribe there because they already know to subscribe. I'm assuming, yeah, this is your website. That's a home search. I would make it to a landing page personally. Um, we got Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Take those all off. Yep. So he's gotten 18,100 views to the channel in the last 30 days. All right, let's look at his thumbnails really quick. He's doing that white shadow thing on all yep, of them. On all of them. Stop. Stop doing it. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> don't do it anymore. It's not a thing. So the so so the interesting thing is he's he's put out uh, go back up to the top just for a second. So he's put out 278 videos. Mm -hmm. So He's, he's putting some videos out. Let's talk just for a minute, maybe about like, what are a couple of things that he could do? Because like, they're not getting very many views. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, if you scroll up just a little so I could see like, you know, he's or down maybe, sorry, I'm going the other way. Mm -hmm. But he has, he has some stuff in there. What would like, in your mind, what is it that stops? Because he's, he, obviously the thumbnails need some help and the titles need some help. But is it, like he's putting the content out. Is he missing a mark? Is there spaghetti against the wall? Like, I know we haven't really looked at this, but I just thought about really quickly. And I know we have, we have like two more channels to review or at least, but maybe we could give him just a little bit of advice on, because he seems committed to putting out videos, but they're just not gaining any traction. It looks like he doesn't really have a content strategy. I think what he's doing is just, trying to find what's working for other people and then he makes that same similar the, the video. spaghetti does he have any playlists at all or is it me, just videos let me, let me take a look yes but the none of them are they're like not, they're all the same yeah there's nothing uh, he and he did his playlists like location wise instead yeah. of like um here this is the only one buying a house yeah. Everything else, buying a house, selling a house. That's all like, so yeah. the, so, the, so really the playlist is they're not, they're not any different. And I, and I think that's kind of the thing that I wanted to get at is it, it's, it's gotta be frustrating. And, you know, when you start putting videos out and you put all the effort to do it and then, you know, you're not getting, you're not getting the views that you should get. And there's just a few little things that he could do to really increase uh, the views Mm -hmm. and like a couple of the things that you had already mentioned you know taking the that shadow off he's obviously too small in all of his mm -hmm. things i think just mm -hmm. really quickly talking about like how he could have thirds in each of the thumbnails um he's not he's not using the title in the thumbnail which is great. yeah like, yep. i think the titles just need to be more juicy yes right yes so here's one thing. This is a tip that for everybody, right? So he did a video on things you need to know in Title Spill, Florida. But then he did another video on things you need to know. And then he did another video on things to do, you need to know. What he did right here was cut off the views because he kept putting out another one about things you need to know. Right? So he just yep. kept like this He's one started moving. self sabotaging by releasing right. his own videos that are this that are similar. And even, even though in his brain, he's like, no, they're not similar because they're different areas. It's still the same. It's still things you need to know. 
So, you know, like if you had done things you need to know, then a pros and cons, then another things, things you need to know, that would have been better than cutting off the viewing pattern of the, the previous video with yep. the same exact video. It'd get, it'd get it time to season and to marinate and to get out to the viewers too. Correct. Yep. Yep. Um, okay. I just it, wanted to bring that up because it, it looked to me like, you know, he's putting a lot of effort into this, but then he's not getting any results. And that's, that's exactly why, uh, you know, I, I wanted to bring that up is because it can be frustrating and there's just little teeny things that you could do that would make a huge difference and having a little bit of a strategy on your playlist would be massive. So like this title right here, Dell Webb in Vera, Florida, that is not juicy, right? Like yeah. it isn't even really searchable. Like, like if you were trying to do the SEO route, that isn't even yeah, the there's, route. there's Dell Webb communities everywhere. Yeah. So what I would, I would have done is like what no one ever tells you about Dell Webb in, in Florida, De Dell Webb communities in Florida, like the hidden secrets of Dell Webb communities in Vera, Florida, yep. you know, just biggest make it juicy. Biggest mistakes when moving to five Del biggest mistakes when moving yeah. to Dell Webb. Yep. And like even this one April housing market, Brevard County in Cocoa Beach, Florida, there's nothing juicy about that. So it's like the uh, April housing market forecast is huge for Cocoa Beach. Yeah. You're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe what the housing market is doing in Cocoa Beach. <laughs> yeah. You know, like make it juicy. I think a lot of times people put more effort into making the video and then they throw a thumbnail up. Too. They throw a thumbnail up and they mm -hmm. and they put a title on as an afterthought instead of instead of planning those two things out. We do it. I mean, I used to do that too. Yeah, I know. I that's why know. I'm saying that's why mm -hmm. I'm saying that is because it's until you understand like how important that is, it's like that's the mind shift of like saying before you even film anything, you should know what your title and thumbnail is. Yep. It says, uh, his description says, learn more about Cocoa Beach area and living in the Space Coast. Regular videos are uploaded about living, working, and playing here in Brevard County. Since Eric Larkin is a broker and associate with Real Brokerage, you will be also see videos, updates of real estate market housing updates. Plenty of moves here into Cocoa Beach or somewhere in the Space Coast. I'm sure you have questions. Yeah, this is perfectly fine. Yep. This, this is perfectly fine. Yep, you got it. Just take off all those links. Yep. All right. We got to move on to the next one. Who do we got? Which one you got next? Isn't that the last one? No. Living in Denver. Oh, did, let me do, look. did we do that one or did we do that one last week? I don't know. Let me, let, let, let me look. Let me look. Okay. Oh, living in Denver. I'm going to have to type it in. The, the one below it is the same one. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, all I was doing was going by the links that were given to me, Joe. Oh, sorry. All I'm right, <laughs> Joe, I have to do this because we just talked about this at the top of the hour. <laughs> we talked about this at the beginning of the hour, did we not? Yeah, we did. <laughs> yep, my arm was cut <laughs> Alex, dude, your arm's cut off. Like, you're going to have to fill that in or at least make your, your melon so big that no one knows that your arm's been cut off. <laughs> like, yep. don't do this. I, you may not think it's a big deal, but people notice. They're yep. like, oh, they took a picture with their phone and they just stuck it there. <laughs> I, yeah. do like, I do like the book of call. And yeah. I like that he has a value proposition. <laughs> yep. He did that. Rock on, Alex. All right, let's see. He's gotten over 2,240 views in the last 30 days to his channel. He has over 243 videos and he has 242 subscribers. For every video goes out, he gets a subscriber. Yep. We got to fix right. that. Yeah, we need, we need a lot more than that. So I don't hate the thumbnails. I'm not a big fan of the, the, the outline stroke around them. That isn't necessary. Yeah. yeah. That was a thing, but it's, it's gone now. Just kind of like outlining the person. Yes. Yeah. Cause it gets kind of cluttery. So they're just take it off. That's not necessary. 
Oh, we've done his channel before. He did the camping. Yeah, that's right. I think yep. he did this one with Jackie. Jackie. Jackie, Jackie Baker. Jackie Baker. Let's do the about section really quick. All right. He started in 2009. He has over 100,000 views. Are you wondering what it's like to live in Denver, Colorado? Well, this is a channel you need. We absolutely love this, this town. And our number one goal is to showcase the De Denver Metro through our videos and completely understand thing of the area. It fits your lifestyle. You're not, you're not specifying your real estate agent until you get to the bottom. I would, I would say, you ever wonder what it was like to move to Denver, Colorado Yeah, and specify in there that you're a real estate agent. Cause I mean, even though you want to make it about them, you still want them to let them know that you're you a real can, estate agent. Yeah. You, you can need totally to be make it about them and still have, uh, you know, verbiage in there, letting them know just by the words you're using, just like what you just said with move rather mm -hmm. than like, like this could be, you know, misunderstood as like, Oh, it's just like a, like a vlog. Yeah. Vlog. And, and they're, they're stopping in to give us the nightlife of Denver and how, like the things to do, uh, rather than saying, Hey, you, you can, you could buy a house here and you can live here. What it's like to live here. What it's like yep. to move into this area. Right. Yep. He does have I the book a call. Yeah. It's not verified call. though. Cause he doesn't have his, unless his tiny url is broken but yeah but, i was gonna say his bitly link might be uh, broken yeah. i have a problem with bitly's though like i i used to do i don't know if you remember this google short links mm -hmm. so i used to have all these google short links in all my videos well they don't work anymore they got rid of it so then i started using bitly and then bitly had an issue then i had to redo all my links so I just started just putting the actual link in there. I know it doesn't look yeah. as pretty, but nobody really cares. Anymore. I was just going to say that it doesn't matter if it's mm -hmm. a long string of characters or not, because that's just as ugly right there. It's just a little longer is the only yeah. difference. Yep. Now, well, I will say this, though. If you do a book a call, um, you c if you have your own domain name, you can have it that and then book a call and then it looks clean. Yep. There you go. Very smart. So, All yeah, right. but he's got his info in there, so it's good. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. That's all of our uh, reviews for this week, Joe. And we had some good. We had some good channels. There's a lot of yeah. good stuff that people are doing. Yep, there is, and uh, like I'm always, I'm always uh, impressed. I always like look, looking to see what other people are up to too. It yeah. <laughs> keeps me on my toes. So let me. Yeah, it's like okay. Yeah. What can we steal? <laughs> yeah, what can we? And, and it's not really stealing. It's it's a borrowing of ideas. I never we, rip anybody off completely. Yes, there's we'll a couple talk. channels out there that rip me off. Oh uh, yeah, I don't just, care. But we also have that copyright tab now, where we. <laughs> no, well, I mean, not like that. I'm just saying, you know, whatever. Yeah. You know what I, think, I think the thing that you know, when people put these reviews in, I hope what they what they get from us is that we're not trying to tear you down. We're not trying to, but we're not going to tell you you're doing a good job if it's not doing a good job. So I think the thing that we want to do is give you. I don't think that we gave any like tear anything down without giving like any kind of like explanation of how you could make it better. So it's not right. just, it's not just like, oh, well this, but it's like, Hey, here's what you're doing. If you do these little things, it's going to make it that much better and you're going to get a better result than what you have. So I hope that as people watch this, they, they see that we're really trying to help them make their channel better. Yeah. Small, small tweaks, big peaks. Yep. Not my saying <laughs> <laughs> that's Mr. Mr. Uh, Daryl Eves. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that guy. Have you ever heard of him, Joe? I've, I've heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just, was that a groan I heard? Oh man. The things I know. <laughs> oh, come on now. Come on. No, now. He's great. The thing is though, is seriously though, like there are little teeny things that you can do that will make your channel better. And all these little things we're talking about really do make a big difference you know there's also some big things you can do for your channel if you're really wanting to take the plunge you can sign up for the real estate video geeks course and today if you if you wanted to sign up today you could do a little catch up and catch up for the last three weeks but this is the last time we're gonna be opening it up for that if you sign up tomorrow 
you're on the next group, which will be open in about four, four weeks. Right. Yep. Yep. So, mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to take the big plunge and really take your channel off to the next level, that's when you sign us, sign up for Joe and I. Look, you just go right over to the website. You just type in Real Estate Video Geeks. And here we are. We've got all of our stuff right there. Look, join the course today. Look, you just click right there. Boom. And you can you can read all about us. Yeah. Oh, and and if someone wanted to um, have a personalized review with us, what, what would they click? Uh, if you go up to the top there, uh -huh. uh, the menu, book a call, I believe. Okay. And we have the way that we have it set up is they can mm -hmm. book a call with you. They can book a call with me or they can sign up for the course. We also are going to be putting um, Malcolm Lawson on this page as well. Yep. Yep. So right under, um, right under Joe will be Malcolm Lawson. And you can book a call with him too, because we are all friends, even yes. though we're trying to do the same thing. We don't hate each other. We love each other. <laughs> yep, <laughs> There's enough for everybody. There is enough for everybody. Cause not, I mean, some people find me obnoxious, you know, <laughs> some days I find myself obnoxious. So <laughs> well, just some, some people you resonate better with others. Right. I, and every, yeah. and Malcolm's great. He has a lot of really good information. He's got a course, you know, he mm -hmm. has all of those things. So. Yeah. And some, and we, and some people resonate better. Daryl has a course and some people have taken his course and then, and then they, that are realtors ours. and then they take <laughs> ours and they're like, mm, that's better. <laughs> we probably should do yours because we're very, we're very niche uh, specific and right. we're, we're making it to where it's specifically for real estate agents. Real estate agents. Yep. Right. Yep. So anyways, we're going to be doing it again next week. Even yeah. if you had a review this week, if you would like to have your channel reviewed next week, just go ahead and fill out the form again. We're, we're here every week, every Thursday, even yeah. when Joe's on vacation. Hey, staying. I'm done. I'm done. I'm here. <laughs> Look at this. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. All right, my friend. Thank you so much. We'll, we will see you next week, my friend. I don't know what we're going to talk about. What do you think we should talk about next week? Um, maybe we could talk about some like gear, like some things that you can do to get, to get going on what you really equipment. need to start a YouTube channel. All right. We're going to talk about equipment and then we'll, and then we'll talk about equipment and then we'll, we'll do some channel reviews. Yeah. Good? Think, yeah. That's great. All right. Bye Joe.